Hi, I'm Jonathan Krauss, and this work is called A Hierarchical Approach for Generating Descriptive Image Paragraphs, just together with great collaborators Justin Johnson, Ranjay Krishna, and Fei Fei Li. And one quick note before I start, that although all four authors are now actually affiliated with Google in some way, uh, this work was actually entirely done in Stanford. Okay, so there's been a lot of progress in sentence level imaging, image captioning in the last couple of years, especially a couple of breakthroughs about two years ago. However, captioning images with only a single sentence necessarily misses out on a lot of detail that we'd really like to get. For example, in this image, the image captioning system might output two children sitting at a table eating donuts, which, while correct, lacks details about most objects present in the image. Okay. One way forward is the task of dense captioning introduced last year, which combines the ideas of image captioning and detection. While this produces outputs with much more detail, these descriptions do not form a coherent whole. In this work, we introduce the task of captioning images with rich, descriptive paragraphs, which provide an enormous amount of detail, far greater than is present with a single sentence. Okay. We build our model by starting with the traditional image captioning model, and then address its limitations. First, images are made of objects, which are a more granular semantic unit to reason about. Second, Paragraphs are made of sentences, which are modular, coherent statements. To decompose images into objects, we use a region proposal network to detect semantic regions of interest, extract features from those regions, then project and pool them together to form a representation summarizing all contents in the image. To decompose paragraphs into sentences, we instantiate a separate RNN at the word level for each sentence, with a sentence RNN that controls how many sentences there are and the input to each word RNN. Zooming in on the sentence RNN, at each time step, it outputs the input to a word RNN, which we call a sentence topic vector, and a stopping probability. If the stopping probability is above one half, no more sentences are made. Our final model is end-to-end -end differentiable, and we pre-trained the CNN, region proposal network, and word RNN on a dense captioning task. To train and evaluate our model, we introduce a data set of about 20,000 image and paragraph pairs, which is a subset of MS COCO and the visual genome data sets. Okay. Our model outperforms a number of baselines and ablated models across six metrics for image captioning, and we furthermore show that our model matches human descriptions better across a variety of lingual statistics. Okay. Here we show an example result where our model is able to produce a long detailed description. And we'll look at this for a couple seconds. Okay. Our model also has advantages in interpretability. By limiting the region's output by the region proposal network, we can force the model to describe only subsets of the image. Although this experiment is actually very out of sample compared to the type of training data the model saw, results are encouraging in describing only the selected regions. Okay, thank you for your attention.